Today I'll be walking through how to set up your HIA portal account. The first thing you will receive um, in order to start the process is a activation email from Chris Identity Support. The email address is do not reply at hmetrics.com and the subject line of that email um, is crisp account activate. And you will see um, there is a activation link embedded in that email, um, as well as a guide on how to set up your two-factor authentication. So once you receive that email, we're gonna go ahead and click that link. And that will bring us to a page that looks like this. At the top, you will see IAM identity. And then we will be asked to set up a unique password for our account. Um, here are some notes um, regarding the password requirements. Passwords should not be the same as the previous 10 passwords you've had. Passwords should contain a minimum of 16 characters. And passwords should contain characters from three or four categories. Uppercase letters, lowercase letters, digits, and special characters. So you need at least three of those four characters to proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my password. All right, so once you have set up your password, um, then you will be able to register for your two-factor authentication. Um, so you have a couple options when it comes to two-factor authentication methods. You have our preferred method, which is Authy and push um, or uh, token method, um, or you can use a security key. Um, a security key is something like a YubiKey, um, or a kind of manual device you plug into your computer that you can register um, passwords to to do two-factor authentication. It does some sort of touch verification that you have that key. Um, most folks will use the Authy push. So the first thing you wanna do is actually enter your cell phone number. Um, be sure that you can receive text messages on this number um, because uh, you will actually be able to receive a link once you put your uh, phone number in um, to actually download the Authy app um, on your phone um, if you do not have it. Um, you don't need to do it at this time, um, but as soon as you get that text message, it should help you guide through the process. All right, so once you click register, um, you will go ahead and receive a text message um, sent to your inbox. Um, and then you will be able to use the Authy app. All right, so this is what the text message um, will look like when you actually enter your phone number. So you will receive a text that looks like this. Um, it will say two-factor authentication was just enabled for your account. Um, and then it will give you that link that you're actually able to click on your phone. And then it will bring you to your app store where you're actually able to install the Authy app. Um, and this is what the Authy app looks like within the, um, the Apple store. And it would be similar on an Android phone as well. So again, if you choose to use Authy, it will send you that uh, that text message um, where you can actually download Authy from the App Store and it will sync directly with your account. Um, we also are uh, set up to provide 2FA via other alternative authenticator apps. You may be familiar with Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Authy, LastPass, um, Duo, things of that nature. And when you set those up, you should be able to scan a QR code. Using your cell phone, you could um, set that up. It should give you a six digit token, um, and then you are able to activate that method 
I'm going to go ahead and use the Authy app to set up my account. So once you have the Authy app set up, you can go ahead and put in the six digit code um, provided to you by um, crisp identification. Um, and then you'll be able to activate your account. Um, the next time you log in, it should actually give you a push notification if your phone is set up to receive um, push notifications. So then I'll bring you back into the login screen, simply put in your username, which will be the email address registered to your account. Um, then you will go ahead and put in that password that you set up. And then it will bring you to uh, this screen, which it actually gives you a push notification um, that you can actually accept. The, if you have push notifications set up, um, this is what will appear on your screen. Um, you may get a notification at the very top of your phone if you're not actually in the app, but if you're in the app, um, you may get a push notification on the top of your phone that you can click and it will bring you into the Authy app to a page that looks like this. And then you're able to approve or deny um, the login attempt. One thing to point out here is um, the ability to trust this device. Um, this will actually enable you to um, bypass the 2FA um, for a few days on the same device. That way you can log in without um, needing the 2FA um, notification. If you do not receive that push notification, that's when you will click trouble getting the auth request, use TOTP token instead. And that just simply means um, you would add in that six digit code that spins on your Authy app or your um, Google Authenticator app. If you had set up a different authentication method, um, it would actually not wait for a push app um, notification. It would just bring you to a screen where you can enter in um, that phone number. Um, if you don't have push notification set up, um, or if you're unable to get a push notification for whatever reason, um, or if it doesn't come over timely, you can always put in that six digit code um, that will change every 20 seconds. Um, um, by clicking that, uh, that trouble getting push notification checkbox, and then it will allow you to enter those six digits and actually access um, the HIE portal. So once I accept that request, I'll actually be brought into the portal. And then here you are um, consenting that you have knowledge of um, your organization having a PA with um, CRISP, uh, we recommend you please review policies and procedures. Clicking this link here, um, you should be able to view that on our website. Once you have reviewed that and you're sure that your um, organization has a participation agreement with CRISP, you can acknowledge that and you are into the portal.